morning and welcome to Meme News at 8. I'm Josh Dubois. And I'm Sam Perez. Topping today's news is a problem that is continuing to spread throughout the continent. Food insecurity. Millions of Americans struggle to get a sufficient amount of food each day. However, many people do not fully understand the severity of this problem. To gain a better awareness of this issue, I'm going to turn it over to my partner, Sam. This issue is indeed growing in our country. 46.5 million people in the U.S. live in poverty. According to the USDA, one in six Americans struggle to get food every day. Even when people receive minimum wage, they can't always afford food for their entire family. This happens because the government isn't accounting for bills and toiletries. Kids for Good is an organization created to help people in the immediate county of Darien. Cynthia McGann is someone who helps with this program, but it is mostly run by kids who come together and solve this growing problem. Visit kidsforgood.org for more on how you can donate and help in your community. Here is our reporter Susan with a message from Charity Director Cynthia McGann. In a previous interview with Meme News, Cynthia McGann, a registered charity director, gave us advice on how to spread awareness about food insecurity. She said, a very effective way is to host community screening events of documentary films that are unseen, such as the film A Place at the Table, which I showed. McGann says that people can help by researching food insecurity in their community and visiting reputable websites such as Feeding America or Northern Illinois Food Bank and donating to their local food pantries. The DGS school system has found a way to help the students who are in need of assistance. For more on what DGS can do for people with food insecurity, here is Susan on location with Vince Walshrock. Hi, this is Susan Oano live on location in the school's clothes closet. Here's Mr. Walsh Rock to tell us about kind of what goes on in here, who, you know, who gets this stuff and what goes on. Hi, Susan. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've had our clothes closet here at South High School, my gosh, probably almost eight years. And we take donations from students, uh, staff members. M mostly that's where most of the donations come from. But, um, what would someone do here if they could not afford to get some food, what, what would they do? Yeah, well, uh, he here at South, um, students who are not uh, able to uh, afford lunch and breakfast uh, actually apply for a fee waiver. And students, when they qualify for that, actually get breakfast and lunch here every day. Uh, you would know who that was, because in the cafeteria line, people just put in their ID number. Uh, but sometimes when kids have fee waiver, they put in their ID number, and they get uh, free breakfast and lunch here every day. Who would they who would they talk to about that if they had that problem? They go to the main office uh, and, and and talk to uh, um, who, who's in charge of that now? Oh, Mr. Davis is in charge of that now. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Oh, no Back to you, Josh. Thank you, Susan. Well, this concludes our news for today. But don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the story about memes. This has been Meme News with Josh, Sam, and Susan. Have a great day.